Good morning. Today, we're going to talk about our final section of the Easter story. We began with the baby and Mother Mary and Father Joseph. Then Jesus went to Jerusalem where he was lost and then found. We talked about Jesus's baptism by John in the river and the light shining down from above. We learned about Jesus's 40 days and 40 nights in the desert where he was alone and hungry. We learned about how he came back from the desert and, be and came close to the people, people who no one wanted to come close to. And finally, last week, or a few weeks ago, we talked about how Jesus shared the wine and the bread with his disciples before he was betrayed by Judas. The night he was betrayed by Judas was very long and confusing. The next day, Jesus was taken outside the walls of the city and crucified. That afternoon, Jesus died. The sky grew very dark. Jesus was taken down from the cross and buried in a cave. A great stone was rolled into the opening of the cave to close it like a door. Saturday was so quiet you could almost hear the earth breathing. On Sunday, it was the women who had the courage to go to the tomb just to be close to Jesus. They wanted to remember everything, even if it was sad. When they came to the tomb, they found that the stone had been rolled away. When they looked inside, the tomb was empty. Jesus had died on the cross, but somehow he was still with them as he is with us, especially in the bread and the wine. When you look at this side, you know that the other side is there. When you look at this side, you know that this side is there. But you cannot pull them apart. This is the mystery of Easter that makes all the difference. And this See how the color changes from purple to white? The color of pure celebration. But, hmm, wait a minute. There's something wrong here. There's something wrong indeed. We have the ending and the middle 
in the beginning, but if we stop here, it has an ending, but there's also a beginning. Let's try something else. journey. Yes. And you put this here and here and here. There we go. If we do it like this, the story keeps going. That's better. Yes, that looks right. Now I wonder, what part of this story do you like best? What part of this story do you think is the most important part? I wonder, where you see yourself in this story. What part of it is especially about you? I wonder, is there any part of this story, of this wonderful journey that we could leave out and still have everything that we need? I wonder.